Dropbox Business Demo. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Dropbox Business and I'm going to be going over pros and cons of it as well and giving you all the features that come with it as well. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to dropbox.com and once you're over here, all you have to do is just simply sign up. Now to sign up, you can click on the get started button over here at the top right corner or click on find the plan for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. So over here, as you can see, we have a couple of different plans. So these plans are divided into two categories, the personal plan or the business plan. So in the personal plan, you have plus and family. And in the business one, you have professional, standard and advanced. So we're going to be checking out the professional plan for the business one. And over here, as you can see, and over here, as you can see, the storage we are going to get is going to be 3000 gigabytes and the users are going to be one and we get the best in class technology sync anytime access anywhere computer backup easy secure sharing and 256 bit aes encryption as well and then we have a file recovery and version history for 180 days and we have two-factor authentication enabled and many many more the only things that we don't get are the account transfer tool enables HIPPA compliance and device approval and family room these are the four things that we don't get now some of the main things that we get when we are using this is that we get up to a 100 gigabyte per transfer with customization options and we can send up to three documents for e-signature per month which is quite low um, but when you think about it you don't send e-signature documents every single day but I'm sure if you had a larger company and all you did was sign documents, then I'm sure you would need more than just three signatures. And then we have the typical support such as the priority email support and live chat support. We don't get the phone support during business hours, though, I'm afraid. So this one was for the individual, which costs like $16.59 per month. And we can try that for free. And then we have for smaller teams, which is exactly that with, with a little bit more options. So in that one, we get admin console, multi-team admin login, company managed groups, unlimited API access, unlimited API access to productive platform partners, and 1 billion API calls per month for data transfer partners. So we get quite a lot of things. And then we don't get viewer history in this one because this is for the teams. And we can send up to two gigabytes per transfer, which is weird because this one was for 100 gigabytes per transfer. But this is one for a small team and that one was for an individual. I guess that's a professional and that's the standard plan for you, which is kind of weird. But we do get more storage in the standard plan, which is five gigabytes. And we get more users as well since it's a small team version. So 3000 gigabytes over here and 5000 gigabytes over here. So let's just go ahead and try it for free. So I'm going to go ahead and try the small teams ones okay so i'm going to click on try for free now and over here all i have to do is enter in my first name my surname the email address my location or just simply sign up with google and then i have to you know choose a trial plan so standard or advanced so i'm choosing standard one as of right now so i'm going to go ahead and sign up so i'll catch you guys in a little bit and another thing that i forgot to mention is that they don't require any credit card whatsoever that means that you can just sign up with your email address and when the trial ends they'll ask you for your credit card information and if you want to continue their service you can go ahead and give them the access but if you don't want you don't have to give them any access and your trial will end just like that so which i think is pretty cool i think a lot of other companies should do this as well so now let me just go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see our account has been created now all we have to do is verify our email address so let me just verify my email address and i'll catch you guys in a little bit so once you've verified your account this is how the website will look like and you have to answer these four questions so first one is how many people are a part of your company or team so if you have multiple people you can add multiple people and if it's just you you can so you can just select just you so i'm going to go ahead and click on just you and then over here and then over here they're basically going to ask you enter the name of your team so enter in the name of your team and then over here what type of work do you mostly do so you as you can see we have quite a lot of different options so we have accounting we have finance we have freelancers we have it legal we have media entertainment we have project slash program management sales slash business development so i'm gonna go ahead and choose freelance and over here they're asking me to start by downloading the dropbox application so i'll go ahead and download the dropbox application 
And once it's downloaded, just simply install it, open it up, open it up and wait for it to install. And once it's installed, we can continue with the next part of this video. As you can see, the Dropbox has been installed onto our computer. And over here, we have how do we want to store your files? So we can either let the admin manage the setting or we can just uncheck this box and manage them ourselves. So we have two options. We have local and online only. So in online only, all our files will be stored into Dropbox online. There will be no physical evidence of those files. They'll all be in the cloud. And if we choose local, then of course, we'll save all our fire files into our PC. So we'll just select online only and click on continue. And over here, Dropbox has been installed. We can go ahead and view our advanced settings as well. So over here, this is the Dropbox location. And this is where our Dropbox is located. We can change that if we want to. So we can change the selective sync settings as well. But for now, let's just click on continue and click on next. We want to keep your PC backed up. So basically, if you select all of these, these all of these folders are going to be backed up onto our drive and we can set them up right now. But I'm not going to go do that. And I'm going to click on not now. Continue to Dropbox and welcome to Dropbox Desktop X. Click on next, bring it all together get everyone on the same page, sync up, dive in and let's go. Okay, so our Dropbox has been created and this is how it looks like. So over here, as we can see, this is our main drive over here. We can add our contents. We can drag files and folders to share with our team. And over here, we can add more files and folders by clicking on the add button. We can add file from computer, folder from computer, new folder, Dropbox paper, Dropbox paper template, shortcuts. We have Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoints. We have Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And over here on the left side, we have our company name over here. And then we have your own drive, your own personal space where you can store your own personal files. And then you have the start over here. You will have the start messages, meaning your favorite messages are going to be stored over here. And then down below, you have the app center. And when you click on it, it'll take us over to our Chrome. And over here, we can pick whatever integration that we want to add. So as we can see, we have Picket, we have Intergromad, NginOS, Greenhouse, Zoom, Trello, Slack. We have Adobe Acrobat. We have Auto CADs. We have Canva. We have all these different types of applications that can be installed over onto our Dropbox application. So now let's just go ahead and move on and over back to our company. And over here, we can invite more team members. So to invite more team members, you could have either added all of your team members in the beginning when you were signed up, or you can just add them now. So simply click on the invite button over here and this pop-up will pop up. And over here, wait for a couple of seconds for it to load up. And over here, just simply enter in the email address of your team member and then add a message like, hey, this is the manager speaking or whatever you call yourself click the link to join our dropbox we're moving over there and yada 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 stuff like that and once you've done that just simply click on the invite members and then that is basically it your team members will have arrived and everything that you share over here are going to be shared with your team members so let me just show you how you basically do that so let's just assume that this is the file that we want to upload we'll just you know click on the file and drag and drop it over here. And as you can see, the file has been uploaded. And now we can move to members folder as well or save them to team space. Now, what I want to do now, I'll move it to the members folder. Everyone can see the file. So let me just drop it off again one more time. So as you can see, it's over here. It's synced as well, so it's backed up as well. So over here, we can, you know, add more files. We're gonna add whatever we want and then we can sort them out by either a grid, large grid, list, or large list. Like it's pretty easy, it's really, really simple. Just simply sign up, upload your files, share them with your team members, and tell them what to do, and that is basically it. And that is basically it. That is how you use Dropbox Business to manage your teams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notification. That will really help us out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, and until then, take care, and goodbye.